I'm doing a zodiac energy reading for Scorpio for the month of December. I'm going to relax now and get tuned in, and we will see what the message is for all of you. Okay. You see a wheel, like a wheel of fortune. It's all black. And um, we're at the top of the wheel looking down and spinning it. And I can hear it clicking, 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 clicking as it goes around really fast. And it's slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. But um, before we just let it stop, um, I see Scorpio, you, you spin it really fast again and you just keep spinning it. It's like you don't want this Wheel of Fortune to just stop and reveal the, the, the fortune. It's almost like you don't want to know. <laughs> you just rather the wheel keep turning because it could be not what you want to hear. <laughs> I tell you to trust. Just stop trying to control your Wheel of Fortune. You're kind of fed up. You're kind of just fed up. Okay, that's better. I see a very strong Scorpio in the shadow. And you take the Wheel of Fortune, you, you're just done playing this game. And you pick it up and you just toss it behind you. And you don't want to live off of these Wheels of Fortune, you just don't. It's like, I'm going to make my own path. I'm going to make my own fortune. But it's hard for you to come out of the shadow. It's hard for you to be visible. And I see you standing before a vast desert, but it's a cool looking desert. It's not like um, forever and ever and ever of sand. It's almost like it was constructed to be um, ancient, long forgotten land. And it's flat. And it seems like there's ruins beneath the sand, and some of it stick out of the sand. And you want to leave the shadow, you want to walk your own path, the path you create for yourself. You're sick of being bound to fortune. You create your own path, but you can't seem to leave the shadow. You're even willing to step into this desert region with the buried... <sighs> lost civilizations and you're not even allowed to do that it's surreal the energy is just for Scorpio over the last months is like on and off on and off okay there's just a lot of energy here I'm just clearing this out <laughs> all right I see now. I see the what is holding Scorpio back in the shadow is unresolved. Just it's just sort of life. It's like uh, you need time to resolve a lot of your own history, your own buried lost civilizations of who you are, what has made you who do you are in this life. Reconciling that inside yourself because you're really not in the shadow. But it's not like, it is your calling to work on yourself right now. But this is complicated because I feel like Scorpio is, is, it's always been working on itself. Like, like, I'm ready to come out of this. I'm ready to get into like fresh new path. I'll even take the old path. Whatever path. I need new something new and I'm going to take matters into my own hands. 
but I see the path before you is what you're still, it's almost like just a natural occurrence. Like you, you're resolving history, your own history inside of you. And it feels delayed and it feels like taking a long time. It's annoying. And you can't get out of this shadow. <laughs> I tell you, well, let's have some fun and I bring the Wheel of Fortune back. <laughs> Something to do to bide the time since you're trying. <laughs> <laughs> like you're trying to create your own wheel of fortune, but nothing is changing here. <laughs> so I'm just bringing this in for fun. It's like opening a fortune cookie. Does that really define your fate? Um, or is it just an interesting coincidental message or a message that means potentially nothing or everything? You know, <laughs> Why not just have some fun with this? So I'm bringing back the wheel of fortune and I, I'm saying it's, this doesn't define your fate. It just gives you something to work with. Like, let's just spin the wheel of the unknown and just get some new ideas. Maybe there's more to this, that you're, you're getting ahead of yourself. And you need to, you need, there's more ideas that haven't appeared yet. You feel like you have everything you need, but you don't. So let's open a fortune cookie. Let's spin the wheel and let it just stop and, and show us an idea, okay? We just consider it an idea. And now Scorpio's like, oh, <laughs> okay. So I need to ask for ideas and I need to get out of the way of myself and I need to allow the path to reveal itself to me, to not walk the old path, but to welcome something new that I've never seen before, that I've never stepped on anything like this before. Something new. I see you having to go through a restructure. I mean, it's really messed up as I'm looking at it because as you have this epiphany, you seem very self-sufficient when, when you have like little, like a handholds as you climb in the cliff of your own life. It's like, oh, I can work with this. Oh, I can work with this. Ah, I can't find any handholds. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's another one. Okay, so you're able to kind of be a self-sufficient mover when you have something to work with, okay? That it feels like it works with you. Now you're having this epiphany that, okay, I just need to welcome new ideas. I need to be aware that this, this path is gonna be fresh. It's not going to, it's not walking the old path and kind of refurbishing it to be something new, a new version of it, of the old, but it's like new energy, new self, new identity, new way um, of being. Maybe you're not even familiar with what that is yet. It has to be introduced to you because you just don't know it yet. That's why you need this wheel of fortune. You need some ideas and you need to let it spin and not be afraid of something way outside the box. That would be like a total no might actually be just the right yes, okay? And I feel <laughs> in this epiphany moment, bones are snapping and breaking and I see the remodel of yourself. Um, and it, it was a little bit creepy, but it, it's like, it makes a lot of sense um, because you're being reborn and, reborn and there's transformation, a restructure. Feels like you've been through enough that the breaking of bones doesn't come with any pain <laughs> because you, you've been there, done that with so much stuff that, that you can tolerate new in a way that would have been harder for you a few years ago. You've been there, done that enough. You're leveling up. <laughs> it's like you, you, you defeated the, the King Koopa boss and now you're going to the next, the, like the Mario Brothers 3 because you just beat number two and you already beat number one. So you're like, you're just moving on down the line. Like <laughs> there's something about this. Like you, you did it and the restructure is happening. It's you're entering to new territory, new water, new scene, new experiences. Let's spin the wheel already. I'm like so into this. Gosh, why, why are you, why are you not allowing the wheel to spin? It's like you're, you're letting me down here, Scorpio. I need this for my own self-satisfaction. <laughs> Please, let's just spin the wheel. And all, and, and you're just like, 
ignore the wheel and you're just sitting in the dark. <laughs> like, God. You're in deep meditation. You've been restructured and now you're in deep thought and you are... An inspiration is building within yourself. You say the only way that you're going to be able to know who you are and where you're going next is to not work with any ideas that would ever have been familiar to you before. And those are the ideas that you would access on this wheel of fortune. It's just going to keep you going around and around in a circle with what you've already been through. And you're ready for a new cycle of experiences that have nothing to do with the old fortunes, the old options, the old you. And you're more like, I'm going to go from Super Mario over to Zelda. Like, I need totally new environment. I need just total change. That feels good. It feels like the more that you rearrange your, your, your... It feels good to work with brand new, like, even outside the box, new places, new people. Feels like that is how you get on the right track. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, I don't feel discomfort. I feel, um, I feel now from this message and this experience that we just went through together. Scorpio, you can, you feel more patient and at, at ease. You feel um, like you understand something and you're going to welcome um, whatever this is to reveal itself to you. And you feel like you understand something you needed to understand. So Scorpio, you watching this should actually just help within itself. So that's the message. <laughs> okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I have two other YouTube channels, so you can check me out at Abby Normal and Abby Psychic Services. I'm also on Patreon, so you can visit me at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right, thank you all so much for watching again, and I hope you have a great December and a wonderful rest of your 2020.